right? Okay. All right, so this is the Samsung Focus. It's got a, it has a Super AMOLED screen, 4-inch screen. Um, it has 8, 8 gigs of RAM. It has an expandable SD slot as well, so you can add more storage to it if you chose to do that. Replaceable battery, all those things. So this is the Windows Phone 7 experience. Um, these are what we call live tiles. And so all I had to do to personalize this phone was I put in my Facebook credentials, I put in my Exchange credentials, I put in my Windows Live ID, which is my Hotmail address, and it brought over my Xbox avatar, brought over my Zoom pass, brought over these pictures, and it'll just rotate these pictures around. And so from an end user standpoint, I can really make this phone however I, I, I want. All I can do is I press and hold, and then I can move tiles all around and leave them here. I can slide over. This is the full list of applications that's loaded on this phone. And if I wanted to take and move any of them over onto my home screen, I just press and hold and I pin it to start. And now it's down at the bottom and I can move it up if I wanted to do that. Okay. So, I've got a few questions. There are some concerns if you slide back over to the application tab. You know, people had some concerns. You know, these are... It can get really populated really quick, especially right. if you get a lot of applications. Right. Is there any plans in the future to sort of tile this as well, or you know, where you can see more than a list of applications per se? Yeah, I mean, this is the kind of the Uber list of applications. The the um, the way that we envision folks using the phone is they're going to put the ones that matter to them right, most on, to on the okay. home screen, and and you can put lots and lots of content on here. Right. Um, so let's see what else. I mean, obviously I could change the color of the tiles, but one of the things... You can have really, themes as well? Um, at, at this point, you can just change the colors. Okay. Um, but what, one thing you'll notice is this content is really relevant to me. So, like, there's my avatar from right. Xbox. I've just put in my live ID and brought my avatar over. Of course, if I wasn't an Xbox user, I would have the opportunity to set up that avatar. I can put people on here as well. So, like, this is a person that's important to me. I can interact with them, I can write on their wall, I can contact them, that's the latest social networking status. I can look and see kind of what's been going on in their life, what pictures they've posted. I can respond to right from here. I can say I like a post, I can respond to a post, just see what's going on. Of course, I, all phones, Windows Phone 7s have a back button, so I can just back out. Um, I have uh, pictures is another example. So that's just a picture that is randomly chosen for me, just based upon what I've stored in my, um, in my albums. And it'll rotate that picture about every week or so. Um, or I can do it more often. I can just press and hold. So I can change the background, or I can just say change it for me, and then it'll just choose another random picture. As you can see, just change that. So they're going to be organized into albums, and one of the things that's unique is it's going to show me all of my friends' albums as well. So I can look here, I can respond to them. Now, if I look at all, I'll go to all my albums. So not only are the pictures on here that I've taken with the phone, and all of these have 5 megapixel cameras and LED flashes, but if I slide down, you'll start to notice photos from Windows Live, photos from Facebook, and it just brought those down when I set up my Facebook and I set up my Windows Live. And so I can click on these, and so now these aren't stored on the phone. Right, these are in the cloud. Uh, yep, so, so what it's doing is just bringing down thumbnails, and I can rotate this over. And then I can do an album. Oh, I think you only have one picture. Oh, is there only one picture on there? Yeah. Okay. Now, what about, you mentioned the services. Has Twitter been announced yet? Is Twitter back? Twitter's on here. Oh, so Twitter's, Twitter's definitely here. Yeah, there's a Twitter app on here. Very good. And this is pretty much the one that they viewed on the, uh, the Zoom. Or similar. I don't know the answer to that. Okay. Uh, how similar it is to the one on Zoom or not. Um, maps, so it's, you know, it's location aware. It, it, it'll, it's always looking, you know, I can, I can go in and out. Can we take a look at the zoom features? Absolutely. So another example of, of customizing, so I haven't listened to any music on this phone yet, but what I can do is go into zoom, I can go into music. Uh, I'll click on, I have no idea. Like maybe those guys right there. I can click on it. Now it's going to start playing. So this is streaming from the actual Zoom service right now. Uh, right now, this is this is in uh, local right okay. here. But if I click down, it'll look for uh, similar or music similar from this artist. And then if I were to click play, it'll start streaming it um, from Zoom. Now one question about Zoom is the ability to edit playlists available is that? To so what you want to do is actually, I can click on a song, 
So there, that's an example just brought over okay. the album artwork. You would, you would create a playlist on the Zoom software. Uh, just drag it over. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now let's see. Go back to the home screen. If I slide down. Yep, there you go. There's the album artwork of the last song that I listened to. So uh, another example, of, like the Black Eyed Peas are on here, so I just save that as an album. All these have FM radios in them as well, so I can save a favorite radio station on my home screen. I can save a web page. Like, I watch it uh, I fly a lot on Sundays, and so I like save the NFL slash scores on there, and I just click it, and it gives me the latest update. So you can save albums or artists directly to the home screen. Yep, playlists. I can, so like if I go back into... So if I want to pivot over, we go to music, albums, songs, playlists, so I, oh, one too many, I can press and hold, and I can pin it to start, and now that playlist is on there, and I can just click it, and it'll start playing. Can you take a quick look at the Xbox features? Yep. Um, yeah, so by and large, the, the information you get through notifications. So my collection of games, and then it has links into Marketplace, so I can get more games. Spotlight, if you've ever used an Xbox 360, it's that on there as well. And then I brought over my avatar, and so this is the, the gamer score. Like if I'm already an Xbox user, this is the same gamer score on my console. Right. The achievements that I earn are, are compatible between the two. Um, so, you know, I can be on a long flight, I can play a bunch, and my gamer score went up by 100 points. Next time I go into my console, it's there. it'll all be there. What about the ability to message your Xbox Live friends back and forth? Is that in here as well? I, you can do friend requests, like, hey, I'd like to play this game with you. I don't know if I do. Okay. Yeah. And then, and then if I have a friend request, so one of the things that makes it uh, different as well, if I go back to the home screen, in my Xbox tile, if there's a, if one of my friends is requesting to play a game with me, it'll just show up right here. So if I can just glance down and look and see what's going on without having to keep going back and back and back to the see. Marketplace. Uh, did I show you Office? No. Office. Whoop, I went into shopping list. We can shop as well. Yeah. <laughs> Office. So all uh, Windows Phone Sevens will have Office 2010 included in them. So um, OneNote. OneNote's kind of unique in that I can little any notes that I take here will automatically sync to my PC through the cloud. Okay. And, and so that's your live account. Yeah, your Windows Live ID account. Um, documents on here. One thing that's unique as well is a SharePoint client. So I can access SharePoint documents that are stored on my corporate network behind the firewall, collaborate on them, and, and upload those right back. So I can click on one of these docs. So here is an example of a PowerPoint presentation. And of course I can pinch in. Now I would assume you have, the, uh, you have the ability to export it to some sort of a projector, right? Well, that's based on manufacturer-based hardware? Not at this point. Okay. Not at this point. Let me show you Bing, too. So there's a Bing search button. So if I'm, if I'm not in any type of experience or application, it'll take me to the Bing uh, site. But if I were in people or if I were in my email and I click search, I'll, I'll search contextually based upon the application I'm in. But I'll click on the search here. So um, it's going to download the Bing picture of the day. It's going to recognize where I'm at. As it's doing that. And so then I can do searches from here. It'll, um, it, it has voice search. There we go. So there's our picture of the day. It's recognized that I'm in New York City. I can click and uh, press it and hold here. Do voice search. Sushi. Sure. Sure. Yeah, I can do Of course, I can do voice dialing that way as well. Can you actually dictate to the device, like send an email or a text? Uh, not at this point. So what it recognized there is it said, Bing said, hey, he's looking for sushi. I know he's in New York City. He's probably not looking for the history of sushi now, or news about sushi. Now, I could go do that, absolutely, and find the Wikipedia entry of it. But it brought me right to the local. And it says, hey, these are the sushi restaurants that are around you. 
Um, let's see, some of these have, have been rated, so I can click on Sushi Lounge here. I can read the reviews on it. I, if I get there and I find out that it's close, I can say, hey, I'm around here and tell me what's near me. Um, and also what Bing's doing is it's bringing out all that information. So I'm sure this place has a website. Sure. It does, but you know, it might be kind of hard to like get there and navigate to find out the hours or what the phone number is. And so I can, I can just, it just brings it out right from here. And I can click on any of these things. So it knows where I'm at. I click directions. So it says, from my location is Sushi, La Sushi Lounge. So it's finding the directions. What size is the screen? That's a, this is a 4 inch screen. Okay. Uh, that one's a 3.8 and uh, the LG is a 3.6. So the Samsung has the biggest screen? The biggest screen. So there's no one to cooperate with me on that one at this point. Okay. Um, let's see, Outlook as well. So I can look at all my messages, unread messages, flagged messages. Here we go. We go down here. 